Kibera is one of the largest slums on the continent. Those who live here are among the poorest people in the world. Sharon Atiano has lived here all 15 years of her life. Every month, she was forced to stay away from school for a week. What were you using when you had your period before I was, you had the cup? I was using rugs. I was not feeling comfortable because if I have those rugs, I cannot jump, even I cannot play. If I play, they will fall down and I will get shy. Even people may laugh at me. There are similar stories from many girls here. But one organization is hoping to change that. Activists from the cup.org travel to schools across Kibera, engaging pupils, parents and teachers in discussions about reproductive health. We teach them about HIV, we teach them about how you become pregnant, how you have safe, safe uh, sex, uh, we teach them about menstrual hygiene and we teach them human rights which is so important. We have to empower the girls, grow their self-esteem. The organization also distributes these menstrual cups. Also known as a moon cup, they're made of medical silicone, folded into the shape of a C and inserted into the vagina. The cup is an alternative to pads and tampons. What you do, is when you're using it during your period, you just rinse it in clean water every time. And between the periods, you boil it for five minutes. It's changed the lives of these girls. It has made me feel comfortable. Even now I can play with other, my students, I don't feel shy. I started using the cup last year. Till now I'm still using and it has been nice. I can now play even with boys and girls. I'm proud of being a girl using a cup. Let's take a look at the numbers. The cup costs between 30 to 40 dollars, but it lasts 10 years. An average woman can spend 35 to 60 dollars on sanitary towels or tampons. That's hundreds of dollars in a decade. So the cup is far cheaper in the long run. However, the product isn't currently available in Kenya. The cup.org buys them in bulk overseas and gives them to girls for free. Since starting last year, the project has reached out to 5,000 young women in Kibera. And although funding is a major challenge, it's hoping to expand across the country. For these girls, the cup is more than a sanitary product. It's an opportunity to stay in class, a chance for a better future, and in the meantime, to simply enjoy being young. Tuli Shabalala, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.